Not much we do. We'll do two videos. It's okay. And actually, it's probably going to be better for uploading anyway, because it's going to be tremendously long anyway. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we have here the extreme case. We said M1 is much, much greater than M2. So we're now going to take a very massive object and move it into a relatively low mass object. Okay? So, so let's take a look at V1. Yes, go ahead. V1 was V1 is 0. Assuming V1 is 0, which is not surprising. So basically, if you have a Mack truck hit a tennis ball, the map truck is like, what happened? Nothing, right? It would be like Sophie running over me. Oh, wow. Oh, extremely nice. Oh, wow. You know the Whoa. previous, no, we were talking about like... Oh, car, I thought you meant right? like the, oh. her, her physical <laughs> body. You meant with the car. Yeah. Got it. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. You just got the turn on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So, um, M1 is really, really big. So M2 is really small, so this kind of can be fallen away. So M1 over M1 is just 1. So it just ends up being V10. So V1 equals V10. We're all good on that. Now comes the interesting part. Let's take a look at the right side. Let's take a look at V2. Now M1 is much bigger than M2. Let's take a look over here. Um, what happens if M1 is much bigger than M2? Let's ask somebody. Oh, Chris, redemption time. Let's go. Oh, that's, no, shoot, that's far. That's a shame. So, M1 is much bigger than M2, so which parts can we ignore here? Oh, yeah. Well, we can ignore M2, right? Yeah. Because, oh, damn it. Okay, M2 is basically zero. What's 2M1 divided by M1? 2. So, 2 V1, zero. So, we get V2 equals 2 V10. So the situation we just described, we have a tennis ball that's right here. Okay? We have a Mack truck that approaches it. The Mack truck hits the tennis ball. The Mack truck just keeps going at its own speed. But the tennis ball moves to the right at what speed? Two. Two times the speed of the no, the truck. The truck. So if the truck was moving at 50 miles an hour, that means that the ball is moving 100 miles per hour. But what if the ball is moving at like 100 miles per hour and the truck is moving at 2 miles per hour? Okay, so we can look at that. So first of all, the first thing to remember is that in that collision, as we've set it up, if one object is much bigger than the small object, the small object being struck by the heavy object travels twice the speed of the heavy object, and the heavy object continues at its original speed. Now, if we change this problem, okay, to now reference frame shift, okay, so let's say we're going to take a baseball thrown by a pitcher. How fast do pitchers throw baseball? 80 miles per hour. 80 to 100. 85. 2,891. I can tell you that. We're going to do 80 miles per hour. Okay? Now we're going to make an assumption that a baseball bat combined with a batter has effectively infinite mass compared to the baseball. Okay? Not a terrible assumption. M1 equals small. Over here we have the bat. This is the ball. Bat. And our bat's moving this direction. And M is big. How fast does a baseball bat move when it strikes a baseball? Anybody know? Yeah? 200 miles. What the hell? That's definitely not true. You made a shit. No way, Jose. You can't move your hands that fast, guy. 200 miles per hour. Like 20 miles per hour. They, they, they go pretty fast. They go pretty fast. I don't think 200 miles per hour. Maybe 50 miles an hour? The speed of the end of the bat is pretty fast. You're right. Bat speed. Yeah. Base MLB bat speed. Try. Bat swings bat. 
So I think if you say bat speed, you might be thinking of like Batman. flying bats, you know? I want MLE fastball. Oh, you know that's fastball. See? How? Uh, what is a good bat? Average exit speed is one of the average speed. We don't want the exit speed, we want the bat speed, Doodle. How about like Right, but Doodle's not. Kind of That's speed for 13 year olds 55 to 60 miles per hour. Oh, didn't I say 50 miles per hour? I, I said, no, 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 no. For MLB, 65 to 70 miles an hour. All right. Let's say this thing is moving at 60 miles per hour. Let's have a number. Okay, so that's V2, 0. This is V1, 0. Okay. We'd like to know how fast does the baseball come off the baseball bat in this situation. What's the first thing we're going to have to do to be able to think about this? Can you say that again? So what do we have to do to be able to use our reasoning, our equations we've just uh, arrived? Frame, reference, reference frame shift. We're going to reference frame shift. And you have to remember, again, because I'm evil, I left off the minus sign here. So what do you have to do as a reference frame shift? No. Nope. Add, 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 strikes an infinitely massive object, we're going to assume it's elastic in the collision. Well, it's not perfectly elastic, it's fine. What is going to be the speed of the baseball coming off this baseball bat? 280 miles per hour. Okay. Um, well, actually, no, in this case, zero, right? In this, no, well, hang on a second. So the way we shifted it... We're finding V1. The way we, sh hang on, the way we shifted it we made the massive object at rest start. Okay. Right? Yes. So you it would be 280 minus 60 then. Oh no. Screw it. I'm sorry, let's go. I'm wrong road. So 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 that's wrong too. Okay. So reminder. If we want to use our last line of our reasoning back up for a second. Sorry, it was my fault. Back up. So we have two lines here, right? This one and this one. And we talked about this last, and this is the one we actually want to use. In our last one, we're making the object that is um, big, one that's moving, and the one that's small is not moving. Okay? So M1 is greater, greater than M2, right? So we actually have to make sure in this example that this is M1, not M2. That was my mistake. So there we go. M2 is small, and the baseball bat is going to strike this thing in this situation. Okay. Anybody like baseball? Yeah. Okay. Zach, do you actually actually follow baseball? I used to play. You used to play. Mm -hmm. But do you watch like major league baseball? Not as much anymore. Not as much. I look at highlights. Did you have like a did you have like a preference in the in the World Series presented yesterday? Now, do you know who was playing? I don't follow it. Wow. Wow. I used to. Wow. Go Indians. Did you say go Indians? Yeah. Yeah, go. You know. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they actually changed their name. They had to. Yeah. I know. Are they like the Guardians? The Guardians no, yeah. They want to change it to the Guardians. That's horrible. Funny story, though. Indians won. There's a. Basketball. There's like a. Um. um What's it called? Redskin. Roller Derby team in Cleveland. So it's a roller derby said like they they are on roller skates and they go in a circle and they kind of have to cook. Nice. 
you have seen this before. It's yeah, like, yeah. It was in the seventies, I think. They still do it. There's a roller derby team in, in Cleveland that's called the Guardians, and they own everything. Right. ClevelandGuardians.com, da 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 da, right? right. And and the and the Indians, who were the Indians until the end of the season, were like, we're gonna call them the Guardians, and they didn't buy ClevelandGuardians.com from the Cleveland Guardians, which is like, I mean, you think someone would at least like. Hey, before we check this, uh, uh, change our name, maybe we should like just Google Cleveland Guardians and see if it exists, you know? Yeah. Probably a good idea. Anyway, so they're suing now the Indians for like a trillion dollars for copyright infringement. Uh-huh. And they've got all the jerseys printed, of course, you know? Yeah. So it's like, it's gonna be a problem. But the weird thing is, also, you know, like, some like Native Americans actually prefer to be called Indians. Oh, did you hear about oh. that? There's a guy like a, There's a really weird thing about this, like, uh, well, so hang on a second. So hang on a second. Hang on a second. There's a couple things there. So, um, even if that's the case, you know, maybe we should just not name our teams against. I also don't see the mascot. It's kind of like. Yeah, but it's like you know, it's. Yeah. I'm just saying. That's like, kind of like it's kind of like Germany having like you know the Berlin Jews as like their soccer team. It's just a little awkward. Yeah. You know, even if they prefer being called Jews, which is not a different question. So just don't do that. It's not a good idea if you murdered those people in the past to then have a soccer team or baseball team named yeah. after them. Even if it's the preferred name of that people group. You know, mm-hmm. you know, Frankfurt fighting Hebrews, not cool. You know, it's not cool. You know, I mean, that makes total sense. So just right. Indians is terrible, and Braves is terrible too, by the way. So, so that's what I was kind of going at. But yeah, the Indians. Changing the name. The Braves have not. The Braves. Um, What's wrong with the Braves? Yeah. The Braves? Yeah, the Braves, like... Braves is, is another word for Indian warrior. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. That's why they're called the Braves. Yeah. I, I see yeah. that. And they have a tomahawk chop thing going on, too. And they're like, da, 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 like this whole thing. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Definitely not good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, good. I hope I wiped your brain clean because you guys were all freaked out about the situation a second ago. But you forgot about all that, so we can just redraw it now. That was my plan. Did that work? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So, so, there's a baseball bat on the left side. It has an M1, which is about infinity. It's moving to the right at 50 miles per hour. This is V10. A baseball comes from the right. It is traveling to the left at minus 80 miles per hour. Let's go straight zero here, V20. Okay? We will now make sure our baseball bat strikes a baseball at rest. Because that was the last line in our chart. What do we have to do in terms of a reference frame shift to make that happen? We want to make the baseball at rest, so we have to clear. add 80 miles per hour. We'll do that. Good. So now we have the baseball bat moving at 130 miles per hour, and the baseball chilling, waiting to get struck. Make sense? After the baseball bat has struck the baseball, how fast is it moving? 260, that's correct. Oh, I think we ran out of power. Or a or you know, like combo. SD card? Uh, uh, well, no, yeah. Okay. Very oh my god. Um, what does it say? Does somebody have a mini USB cable by any chance? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Everything is awesome when you're part of a team. Wait, so.